YouTubers? That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. Anyway, a lot of people have been asking, why no videos lately? Well, to be honest with you folks, we were taking a break. And we still are taking a break. So what we're, the channel is going to change a little bit for the next little while. You're not going to see any shop videos. Uh, due to basically we just want to take a little break. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really, it, it, that's all it is. We've got, this will be the 625th video up on YouTube. And uh, that's a lot of, that's a big catalog for us. It is, isn't it? Really, you know. But what, uh, on Facebook, what we decided to do is we decided to put a notice up on Facebook because we're, we're posting on Facebook daily. So if anybody wanted to follow us, just uh, ask to be friends on Facebook, then you can come on in and, and see what we're doing. We accept 90% of the people. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few I wouldn't let in. There's a few Kathy wouldn't let in. You were all for it. Oh, oh it. yeah, that's right, yeah. And they were all good-looking women, too, but uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> anyway, but what we're going to do is, uh, like, it, it's, it's well known that most of our subscribers and viewers watch us due to the tractor stuff. That's right. And uh, so what, what I've decided to do, or what we've decided to do, we're just sitting here talking, instead of posting these... The, these things on Facebook, like tech tips and stuff, I think we'll just go back to putting them on a video and then attaching the video on each form. Yeah. Because like I just found a couple of things in the last couple of days on the 60 series tractors that, that certainly should be addressed. And, uh, and I think it would be beneficial for uh, 60 series Kubota owners to, to know about. And I'm just not getting the word out there on Facebook because there's only like 720 friends or something on Facebook, so. Yeah, small number. It's a small number, so we can reach more of the masses through YouTube by showing you this tech tip. So we'll head out now and we'll uh, basically show you what we're talking about. So there's gonna be two tech tips in one video here, folks, related to the 60 series, and, it, and it, it's right across the board to all the models in the 60 series. When the 60 series came out, Kubota made some changes. And uh, one of the first changes I noticed was the pedal. If you look at that pedal, that pedal is much different than what was on the 40 series. It looks the same physically, but they left out something really critical to it. So let's go down and look at the 40 series and we'll show them the difference. Keep up with me, can you? <laughs> so if anybody's asking, you know, worried about how I'm feeling, you can't keep up with me. You see the difference? I sure do. There's a huge difference. Yesterday, when we were working on that 60 series, we noticed that that pedal over there was all corroded to the point where there was a mess all over the floor. Yeah, Almost you had pictures of that. I got pictures, so the pictures are well. We can uh, we can install the pictures here as I'm talking, and anyway, as you can see, there's lots of corrosion, and I basically had to take the pedal apart and fix it up. We probably should have had it replaced under warranty, but what happened was is the uh, is the owner said, well, if they're not going to put that back, yeah, it's just as well to fix what you have what we have there so what I did is I pulled it all apart and I uh, bead blasted it then I epoxy primed it now then I etch primed it then I epoxy primed it and then I painted it that's right what you just saw then what we showed was yes completed. that's the finished product right so anyway uh, that should last but it's not as good as this I have a sneaky suspicion that this pedal out of the 40 series will fit exactly the same in the 60 series. So if I had a 60 series You'd and that ordering. happened, <laughs> I'd be putting the 40 series pedal in. Yeah. Hint, hint, just saying, you know? You know, so that, that's one of the things. So I'm gonna attach all the pictures to that 
and what I've done yesterday and what I found in this video at the end, uh, all of them together, even the fix, and then you'll be able to see exactly the steps that I took for that. And uh, so now that you see what the problem is, they're susceptible to corrosion, big time. They, they uh, manufactured these pedals. This one here is all flashed over with plastic or rubber. The new 60 series is just beer aluminum. And I guess uh, if you're out in the salt and the snow and the crap, well, you put your, your foot on it, and every time you put your foot on it, it starts to corrode. Also, down on the bottom, that's the only place there's a hole in that mat, and that's where all the water gets, and all the floor was starting to get all cruddly full of aluminum, and uh, it was just awful mess. Well, you'll see it at the end of the video in the pictures. And I also uh, fixed that up. I cleaned it all up really nice. And I used some rubberized uh, coating over it and let it harden for 24 hours. Then I put the pedal back in after I repaired the pedal. And now it's basically waterproof. So regards of that, that's tech, num tech tip number one. Now we'll go back and I'll show you tech tip number two on the 60 series. Tech tip number two, Kubota 60 series. I've seen this also on the 40 series as well. And what happens is the steering shaft that leaves the cab to go out to the front end. You can see there's a shaft in here. A long shaft coming down here. Oh yes, yeah. What happens is, here's the shaft inside. When they install this grommet, they install this grommet dry at the factory. And it starts to dig in to the shaft itself and it starts to spin and when it starts to spin this clip gets hooked up this boot drops down outside on the steering shaft and you have a basically a three inch hole four inch hole in your cab sometimes you might feel a bit of a draft coming in on your your right foot look for that okay now the boot is not split in two so what happens is it just drops down there and you got to get in there with a long pair of Sneedle snows pliers and pull it back up. But before you do that, you gotta clean the rubber that's burnt into the shaft off with some brake cleaner or some uh, solvent of some sort. Then you take some dielectric grease or silicone release agent and you put it, you can take that clip off like that and you can put it all over the shaft and put your boot back in, put your clip back on and now the shaft will turn freely in the rubber. The big problem with this is it was assembled improperly. It should have had silicone release agent put on the shaft and uh, that problem wouldn't have occurred. So that's tech tip number two. And that will apply to the 40 and the 60 series as well. So there's nothing worse sitting in this and having a draft, especially when Kubota did such an outstanding job on their cabs. You know, it's, it's amazing that they would put that together dry because when you turn that shaft, it grabs that rubber, tears it out of the floor, gone. and gone. It just falls down, eventually works its way down. But the clip and all, I, I, every time I've seen this, I've always found the clip and I've always found the rubber. So I just thought you'd find that interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that. What do you think? I thought that was really informative. You think that would be... Uh, Very interesting. Yeah, I think somebody might benefit from that. I think so. I wouldn't advise anybody to go taking this pedal out if your vehicle, if your tractor is under warranty. No. Let the dealership deal it, uh, take care of it. That's right. Uh, if it do happen to you, this tractor, by the way, it's not nine months old. No. This tractor has 140 hours on it. Right. So can you imagine the condition of that pedal after this season? after this season? Mm-hmm. You know, like this is this is just done in, used One in little winter. parking lots. Now we did put a new. Uh, a new salter on it the other day. Now, this is only going to apply to people, you know, in salty environments. This is never going to happen to anybody in Arizona. No. Nope. But we all don't live in Arizona. So. No. Then they don't have any reason to use salt, do they? No, exactly. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. And uh, whenever we find something that we think will be of importance to you, we'll come back and we'll do a little video on it to uh, see if it'll help you out. So thanks for everybody's. Uh, concerns about my health and Kathy's health but we're, we're doing quite well I've had multiple checkups and pretty well a walking miracle yeah, <laughs> you were. yeah and uh, feeling really well just that 
kind of needed a little break from, from YouTube. It, uh, it became a little bit overwhelming. It's, uh, it's a lot to handle, especially when you're busy at yes. other things. We do other video productions, but not through YouTube. And YouTube lately, it's been crazy to deal with. Like I got flagged there a couple of weeks ago for, it came back, I got flagged that said some of your content is not, uh, how did they put that? Uh, is not acceptable to all advertisers. And I said, what are they talking about? They said, you have the right to appeal. So I just put in, I appeal it, tell me what I did wrong. 24 hours later, we won the appeal with no explanation. But everybody knows the first 24 to 48 hours is when you get your big hits, mm -hmm. is when everybody floods in, and that's when it didn't work. So folks, thanks for watching. And we had some issues with YouTube, we got to deal with. It. So we'll see you later. Take care. God bless.